And in this video, we've got the Werther's Original Infused Vodka Rahe. Visited. Woo! Uh, that wasn't very funny the first time I did it, was it? All right. As you can see, it's still kicking around, and um, it's still got the separation of the fats and the oils on the top here. There was a few comments of people saying, I've had a go at making this, and yeah, the same thing happened to me. Now, I did get a comment from Tim Simpson. Thank you very much, buddy. So, the suggestions that he made were two uh, products. And they are the same thing again, like the emulsifier, which um, I tried to use with the glycerol in this. And as you can see, that didn't work. Um, so yeah, I've gone ahead and bought these couple of products. It is literally going to be another experiment to see if adding a couple of uh, thicker emulsifiers into this. Um, and, you know, just to see if it actually works. So, on to the couple of products. The first one we have here is... Um, I don't know if you can see that very well. It's just like a fine uh, creamy, should we call it? Almost like a magnolia kind of uh, colour powder, which is uh, gum arabic. Mmm. Or acacia gum. And that's made from the sap of uh, the tree. Let me get a bit on my finger here. See that? Hmm. Doesn't smell of a great deal. It was a bit grainy. <laughs> yeah, it's almost sticking my teeth together. And the second uh, emulsifier that was brought to my attention by uh, Mr. Simpson was um, some xanthian gum. So I've gone ahead and got myself a packet of this stuff as well. Now this, if I remember correctly, is made from um, fermenting sugar with a bacteria and then um, scooping it off, I presume, and then drying it. And that's what, that's what this stuff is. So let's have a quick look. Oh, and this is in powder form as well. Doesn't smell of anything. And yeah, it's just like a, a white powder again. Doesn't really taste of anything. Now, these are obviously all food grade products. And if you're gonna have a go at this yourself, whether it works or not, um, these are quite good thickening, thickening agents, emulsifiers, into your product if you don't want to use the glycerol. Oh yeah, and also just be careful of any allergies. These are pretty safe products. But when there's a but, yeah, always double check first. And I could trawl my way through the internet to see how much I need to add to this stuff. But I can't be asked with that, so I'm going to take it slow and steady. Oh, here we go. Wish me luck. So first of all, I need to agitate the original Werther's original drink and mix it all back together again. I then measure out half of the quantity, which in this case is 500 millilitres. And to add the powder into the drink and mix it at the same time, I'm going to use the blender. Unfortunately, this thing only has two speeds, which is bonkers or off the scale. So this is no good. Uh, so I thought, right, I know. I'm going to use my homemade SCR unit that I normally use to control my still. And if you don't know what an SCR unit is, it's like a variable voltage regulator. So here I can whiz it up quite happily, dial it up a bit higher to the max, or down to a more manageable level. So in goes the first half of the Werther's original. 
So you could use a power whisk for something like this, but this is all I had at hand at the time. And as you can see, it seems to work okay. And I sprinkle in the gum arabic in this first batch. And I ended up adding in three teaspoons. And in the other 500ml of the Werther's original, I slowly added in just two teaspoons of the xanthan gum. So there's my two examples and I'll be back tomorrow to see what they look like. Right, so we've left the drinks overnight and now we're back in the morning to see what they look like. And first up we have the gum arabic. Oh for fuck! No, that's definitely not worked at all, has it? You can definitely see the separation um, happening again there. It does look slightly more cloudy on the bottom there, but overall that's obviously not worked at all well. So the next contestant we have was the Xanthian gum, and that looks like this. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, it's actually worked exceptionally well. Actually, almost too well, because, um, yeah, as you can see, it seems to slightly resemble wallpaper paste. Hmm. But I'm not deterred just yet, because that really has done the job in keeping all those fatty globules in a state of suspension. Cool. Now there's some romantic words you don't hear every day. Yeah, I might give this one a quick, <laughs> just a quick squeeze, see what it's like. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely got globs of snot in it now. Right, so yeah, I'm definitely going to just bung these two in the same container, whiz them up a little bit, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll end up with a final product that I initially wished I um, got from the Werther's original. So, off we go again. And there we go, it couldn't be easier. Chuck both the solutions into a bottle and give it a jolly good old shaking up. And then we'll just set this to one side and leave it and we'll see what happens. Right, here we are then. So just have a think, just for a second. What do you reckon happened to the Werther's original drink? Did it stay all combined? Did it separate a little bit? Or did it completely separate again? Well... Bloody hell! Almost looks as if it's worked! What? Now, yeah, it is still a little bit gloopy. It, it is a little bit, I, well, I will admit that. But the thing is, it's actually worked. It, it's actually stayed in suspension. All that fatty globules. Hey, hey! Wow! I mean, yeah, you get the odd comment now and again that you think, ooh, ooh that's a little nugget, that is. A little golden nugget. I'm going to use that. Well, this is definitely one of those occasions, so thank you again, sir. Now, this is still a little bit gloopy because, my God, the ingredients that have gone into this. Whew! <laughs> yeah, there's a lot in it. Um, and I believe if I was to do this again, I would still use the one litre of 40% ABV neutral spirit. I would use two packs of the Werther's Originals and obviously no glycerol and no gum arabic. I would just stick with two for the whole litre, just two teaspoons of the xanthan gum. I really think that would be enough to keep it in suspension. But again, if it's not, you can just whiz it up and add some more in. And if you do give this a go and use the xanthan gum, then do not, and I repeat, do not just get a funnel and chuck it in the top here because you will end up in trouble. It needs to be... Um, manipulated into fashion it needs to be whisked or blended into the substance and here as you hopefully you can see 
yeah, it's still slightly wallpapery, <laughs> wallpapery paste. But that's here and all there. The whole, uh, the whole principle of this was the fact of trying to keep the um, the separation to a minimum, and this has done it to an absolute T. There we go. Let's have a quick taste of it, shall we? Cheers. Yeah, it's all right. It's still not one of my favourite drinks, but I reckon with a an a more refined recipe again this one could come to the forefront and um, yeah come good there we have it and until next time thank you ever so much for watching and make sure you keep on shining